Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading this week to help us find the places where we can help other people through the course of the week. The first card is Six of Air, Meditation. Second card is Nine of Air, Distortion. The third card is Seven of Water, Mystery. The fourth card is Major Nineteen, Expansion. And the fifth card is Nurture of Earth, Abundance. I like this mix that we have this week. We have thought, emotion, passion, and action, and groundedness all mixed in here together. So we're looking at how we can help others this week. The beginning of the week, the best thing we can do is calm our mind. Allow ourselves to free up our thoughts from any any expectations or rigidity that we have. And this tells me that in interacting with other people there at the beginning of the week, we have to be prepared to go with the flow of things a little bit and be calm ourselves. The second thing we can do is actually be distortion for somebody. And what distortion does is it makes something a little less clear, a little fuzzier. And sometimes when this is up, a good way to use that to help somebody else is to give them a break from something that they're really struggling with. Take a friend out to a movie or out to dinner and talk about everything other than their problems. Help a child do something fun and playful. If they're trying to figure out how to do something, just distract them for a moment. It'll help them clear their mind and be able to get back to doing it. Our third card toward the middle of week is mystery. Allow the mystery to be. Not everything has to be explained. Not everything has to be solved. So when you're interacting with other people in the middle of the week, if they're not seeing things clearly or if they're trying to get to something, just let them be. Let them have their mystery in their process. The next card is expansion. Make the world a little bigger for somebody else. Whether you take somebody someplace that they can't get to on their own, or you show them some options, or you just share your excitement about something that you do that you know they don't do. Expand somebody else's world a little bit in this coming week. And the fifth card is abundance. One of the ways that we can teach abundance is by sharing our own. One of the ways we can share abundance is by receiving other people's generosity. Participate in the flow of abundance this week by both giving and receiving. And whatever you receive, even if it's something you pay for, thank the person who's given it to you. So in summary this week, we're helping other people out by calming our own mind and opening our mind to other options. By providing a little bit of distortion in something that they're really seeing hard, they're having a tough time with, give them a distraction. By allowing people to have their own mysterious processes, recognizing that just because we know doesn't mean we need to tell them and by expanding somebody's world. Give them new vistas to explore. And also by receiving and giving from abundance. I hope you enjoy helping someone else, bringing a smile or a moment of peace to someone else this week. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week where you receive all the help you need.